kind of funny that I'm making this video because I promised myself I wasn't gonna date this year. <laughs> And so what changed? Well, I found the one, or maybe even the one found me. <laughs> Incredible. She's smart. She's caring, reassuring, nurturing. She's got a smile that put this view to shame. She's loving, great with people, absolutely amazing with the kids. So amazing. So much more. And today I'm excited to introduce you guys to her. Everybody, meet the one, the only, the beautiful Miss Adam. I thought it'd be fun to introduce you guys to this beautiful woman by doing Q and A. You ready? Could you tell you're a little nervous? Don't be nervous. Okay, I'm fine. We're good. <laughs> Question number one. How did you guys meet? We were friends, and then slowly we started hanging out a little bit more. We both weren't trying to date. I was focusing on myself. You were, she had an ick from men. She was like, I'm sick of dating. That's my ick era. Yeah. We both had genuine interest in each other, but we were running away from dating. We both didn't want to until she started being a little pushy and I loved it. <laughs> pushy? <laughs> Not pushy, sorry. Oh. Persistent. 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 Yeah, there we go. Well, they just asked how we met. We had to give them the whole story. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> how did we meet? Real estate. Mm -hmm, real estate. We work for the same brokerage. Question number two. Who was interested first? Here. Did I? Yeah. I don't. Through you a were friend. giving me hints well, okay, though. But wait, oh, you're wait. right. Through a friend. Yeah. I never formally hit on you. Okay. I told her friend of of hers. I was like, oh, she's cute. The but first time we met, yeah. I walked into the room that he was working in, and I left, and he was like, oh, she's cute, mm -hmm. but I'm not dating. Yeah, I literally said that. I was like, but I'm not dating right now, and I got back to work, and I should have known he was gonna tell you because he was way closer with you than with me, obviously, because I had just joined. And so you knew from the get-go. I still can't believe that. From the beginning. You knew I had interest in you from the beginning. That yep. is so funny. In my head, she hit on me first. <coughs> she took when? When you okay, wanted to... Where would, when did I actually first ever... When you drop a big one? Show interest, yes. What's the pho place you go to? I'm craving it. That was huge. 8 p.m., raining out, no reason. You don't even live nearby. Now that I know where you get your hair done, that's still like... A little bit more north. You made like a little hint. You're when going? are you going? Oh, I said, yeah, Beatopia, you're going? Question mark. Yeah, so duh, I'm gonna invite you. You should come. You did it. You played it so good. I did. So you hit on me first. Mm -mm. You had some insider info. No, basically. You had some. Okay, I guess it depends how you look at the who hit on who first. I guess maybe I did. But that's not hitting though. No, I guess no. That's not hitting. Question number three. Who said I love you first? Me. Yes, you did. I did. That's a standard of mine. Is that bad? That sounds really bad. But we had a conversation about it because it almost slipped out a few times. Yeah. And then we both knew we loved each other, but we had a conversation because I was like, just say it. Because I knew he wanted to, but he said no. He needed like me to say it first. I need the emotional confirmation of my partner to say it before I do. Oh my god, and the way you did say it was beautiful. She wrote a letter, and it was one of the sweetest, most heartfelt things I've ever received from someone I was dating. I love you. Question number four. Do you guys want kids together? Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. 
As some of you may know, I recently went through two of the toughest battles with mental health that I hope I will ever experience. During these battles, I tried a lot of things to kind of cure myself and get me out of that headspace. And one of the things I tried was therapy. That being said, if you're currently going through one of those downs in life and you're interested in starting therapy, I recommend BetterHelp. BetterHelp will connect you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. To get started, you'll fill out a questionnaire to help you assess your specific needs and then you'll get matched with therapists in most cases within 48 hours or less. With BetterHelp, you have the options to make your therapy sessions a phone call, a video chat, or even text messaging if you prefer that. People like myself spend hours at the gym every single week working on our external selves, so why not give your mind that same attention and work on your internal self? If you think you may benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash Oscar. Do you guys want kids together? <laughs> no, I think we had this conversation once and I was kind of like, oh, maybe one day, even if like the possibility was small, but then when we have all the kids together, you're, we're like, oh, this is good. We'll yeah, be fine. We're totally fine. Plus, yeah. after the me and I was telling her, like, it's possible, yeah. but highly unlikely, and so we're just like, perfect. No, I think we'll be good. I yeah. think we have plenty. Oh, yeah. We'll have, so mm -hmm. we'll be fine. Question number five. Do we think each other is the one? Yes, for sure. I, I can tell just by the way we communicate, by the way we operate, how I don't even finish my sentences. Sometimes I just go, oh, and you finish or you answer whatever I was about to ask and it's and you beautiful. You don't even have to ask say the it. question. I just give you the look and I say like, oh, and then yep, you answer or have you, and then you're like, yep, it's right there. Whatever it is I'm looking for or I'm about to ask, you know. Yeah. I think we've had situations too where it could have turned into like arguments in a lot of other relationships. That was a big thing for me. Mm -hmm. And it just felt like we were just having a conversation instead of it being like, yeah. blown up. You like naturally, you naturally discovered something that was on my mind that I didn't even realize was on my mind. And we talked about it before it became a problem. Like every everything. We've talked about everything. Our darkest secrets. Not that. Like, I feel like you have to do that in a relationship, but it was so nice that we just happened to have the conversation and put everything out there because now we're going into this, like, all right, we know everything about yeah. each other, and there's, that do you accept me? And yeah, she said yes, I accepted her and the things she's done, and so it's beautiful. I love it. Question number six Do you guys want to move in together? Oh, yeah. We already. Kind of We're do, yeah. Place. It's crazy too. After dating, oh my god, and hating it, when I found you, everything, like, I feel like socially it looks kind of quick, but the conversations we had, the activities we were doing, like, just by ourselves all the time, yeah. were so deep and had so much meaning behind them and, like, so much connection that I was just all into from, like, truthfully, I might have been emotionally there by, like, our second date, just like, whoa. Our, yeah, I think our first one was a big whoa for both of us. Because yes. um, we instantly had our walls drop. Mm -hmm. But I think it was, like, the second date is when I was like, oh, this is it. Like, oh, I knew. Yeah. I didn't even have to, like, I knew that it was, that's the other question, too, that do we know oh. if each other are the one? I feel like that was that was it for instinct you? that I was just like, oh, this is it. Oh, our first oh. dance. I remember thinking that too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Our first dance, that was like huge for me. Very eye opening. Yeah. So, yes, we do want to move in together. We already kind of do, actually. That's We're already question. planning on like yeah. moving in together. Oh, I can't wait to. Question number seven What kind of future do you see with Addy? Emotionally, I see so much comfort and care. Um, I see security. Like, like, I know you've got my back, I've already seen it super supportive and then I don't know like financially I just see the drive you have and I know the drive I have I know we're gonna be just perfectly fine not even worried about that but like physically just great I see it already we already took like the house we're gonna have at least one bedroom for each kid I know we're gonna have a big backyard with some sort of animal like goats like chickens those those are the main ones but we I wouldn't mind getting like a horse, all that stuff. Just a big yard. Garden. Garden, yes. I want to learn. 
What kind of future do I see? I see a great kind of future. She seems so kind and caring. Yeah, literally. She is. Question number eight. What part of Addy has helped you most mentally? I feel like you're, you're, you're just trustworthy. You're an open book. That's it, by far. I can trust you, and I can. you'll tell me everything. You over-communicate, which is great. A little too much so. I love it. I know, she couldn't even, couldn't even give me my birthday present. You were like, giving me pieces at a time. Yeah, instead of I all couldn't of help it. I can't. I'm not good at secrets. <laughs> so I love it. Just overly communicative, trustworthy. For me, I was on a really, when I met you, I was doing really well on my own. Like, the best I've done in the last two years mentally. But I think... I don't know, sometimes I would get sad if like things were missing in my life and I couldn't exactly figure out like the pieces. And I feel like I thought I was happy like being single and independent woman and stuff, but then I met you and then I was like, oh screw that, like <laughs> that mentality and stuff, yeah. like that mindset. So thank you. No problem. I make my missing pieces. Question number nine. How did the kids react? Well, react to meeting Addie, they loved her. We played, we swam. They wanted to hang out with her more than they wanted to hang out with me. And she was incredible with kids. She still is. But if you're asking like, how do they react when I introduced them like, and I was telling them this is my girlfriend Addie, Levi was like, oh, thank God. You remember that? Dad, you told me it would take you one year to get a girlfriend and it took you two. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I laughed so hard. I did not expect that. Yeah. First of all, I don't even remember him asking me. And second of all, yeah, he was just like, finally, like, what is wrong with we you? We also decided to do, like, obviously no PDA, but, like, mm -hmm. strictly we were telling them we were friends for the first while, just because I also, Aurora, my daughter had been around him before, but I also had this role of, like, I don't want her to be around, like, boy, yeah, like, people like, date like until I know it's, like, going to be something that, like, I'm going to have a future with that person. So we decided to just pretend to be friends, like, yeah. for a while yeah. when we were dating. Yeah. But the kids knew, like, before we even said anything, they would be like, Is that your boyfriend? Yeah, and they would, they would just, ask like, all get the time. They'd be like, oh, what no. The <laughs> they loved you from the, the get-go. They would get sad when we would leave. They would always ask to go back and swim with you. They loved you. Which just makes me so happy, you don't understand. Because there's a lot of people who are terrible with kids, which is fine. Not everyone is good with kids, that's okay. But you your are incredible. Your kids are so good that <laughs> what, who wouldn't like your kids? Anywho, that is just a little bit of what makes this woman so great. You guys will see much, much more here in the future. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. No, 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 no.